not the successful people of today that kids need to know about, but the people of the past and the journeys they took to success. And that is the philosophy taken by Sam Bracken, a one-time Georgia Tech football standout who is now a successful businessman. He lived a painful childhood, and yeah. Donald Lowry's here to tell us why he's made those experiences really an open book. Yeah, it's a, an interesting experience and a story that he tells. It's very raw. It's full of unspeakable abuse and pain. It's the kind of story most people would want to keep secret, but Bracken thinks it's important to tell a story as a way to thank those who helped him and to give teenagers a lesson in hope. <laughs> well, we can talk about me. I'd rather talk about you guys, because my life's an open book. <laughs> Literally an open book. Sam Bracken draws teens in by laying it all out. A childhood, horrific and raw, no sugarcoating. And maybe that's why these teens at Chrysalis Experiential Academy listen. I suffered a lot at the hands of my family. Born the product of a rape, unwanted, age three, always hungry. The book is a collage of pictures and words, a diary written as poems. Age four, left with nuns in an orphanage. Mommy comes back for us. Don't leave. Age five, my left arm is doused in lighter fluid by an older boy. There's more, abuse, abandonment as a teen by his mom, but there's also hope. As I got older, I learned that I can control things. I can react to my environment a different way. I don't have to be a victim of my environment. Playing football helped save him. So did caring teachers, the family that took him in and Georgia Tech head football coach at the time, Bill Curry. I got a full right football scholarship to Georgia Tech, and when I left Las Vegas, everything I owned fit in this orange duffel bag. The duffel bag became a metaphor. Because everybody has baggage. Um, some people pack it away and only bring it out when they want to feel sorry for themselves. Some people take their bag and uh, they fill it full of their hopes and dreams, and they move forward in their life. Change is the hardest thing we can do. Sometimes the kids Bracken talks behavior. with tell him their stories. You know? and I was homeless here, and my parents were drug dealers, and this and that and the other, and I was abused, and I was stabbed. You know, it's really shocking stuff. And my, my question to them is, okay, you probably had it way worse than I did. So what are you going to do about it? Because all of our life's experiences can help us get better. Better, one duffel bag at a time. Sam Bracken has created the My Orange Duffel Bag Foundation to help kids become more self-reliant. An outgrowth of, of that meeting with Chrysalis Experiential Academy is that Sam is now working with 15 students there, and he meets with them next week, as a matter of fact. If you want to know more about Sam or purchase the book or book him to speak, go to sambracken.com. There's a lot more in the works, and we'll be telling you about it in the coming weeks and things he might be doing with the state, an art a show, the whole bit. So it's like taking some horrible things and um, doing something positive. With them. Somebody helping somebody else. That's right. Thanks, Tana.